Kick-Ass was awesome, exuberant, thrill riding, flippin' awesome, kick-ass. It's a comic book which became a motion picture. And although the two are very different, the two are also very similar. Directed and co-written by Matthew Vaughn, it's a story about a teenager who goes out and becomes a superhero on his own and fights crime. And one of the main reasons I love this movie is because it plays on every person's dream of becoming a superhero and just doing what's right. Going out, finding people, and protecting people. Everyone's dreamed of being a superhero when they're a child, and people still dream of being a superhero when they're adults. And that's where Dave Lazuski comes in. He forms the identity kick-ass and goes out onto the streets fighting crime and things like that. This movie was awesome. I really love the directing in it. The one shot when they're all watching TV, and it pans from behind the TV, going around, and then goes behind the couch, and comes out and they're in a new location. I really love that shot. It was funny, it was quick, the music was entertaining. The trailer was really what got me. I watched the trailer and it was put together so nicely. There was some, there was, the music was amazing. The Dickies played uh, the Bananas theme song, something like that. And it just got me hooked and I went out and bought the comic books, read them cover to cover a few times and dragged all my friends to go see it. The acting is amazing. Chloe Moretz played about, a, I think it was a 12 or 11 year old. And people got riled up over her use of language. I don't know if they really saw the scene where she cut off people's legs and things like that, but they were more upset that she swore on the set and things like that, so I don't know what's wrong with that. Nichols played Big Daddy in this, and it's fun to see him going back to a fun movie and where it's not serious or the plot is like something like knowing. It's really fun to watch him just be himself and be funny and laugh and things like that. Other people in this movie, I want to see this because of Clark Duke and he's been in a few movies now, Superbad, Sex Drive, Hot Top Time Machine, and I, he's hilarious. He's a great supporting character and I can't wait to see him if they come back. This movie didn't get too much of a buzz when it came out and I'm really disappointed because it did so well and deserves a sequel. It was well written. The ending was I love the ending because it ties up all the ends, but it still leaves room for a sequel. Um, there are some surprises in there if you read the comic books and watched it. The ending is fairly different, but I'm really happy that it ended like that. Spoiler alert, um, he gets the girl in the end, and there's a rocket that explodes him. That was a bit over the top. I mean, everyone in the theater was laughing. I see no drawbacks to this movie. Every scene is moving, it's funny. There's no scenes where I'm just sitting there waiting for them to do something because it's always... It's progressing like slowly, but there's always something there for everybody at every time. There's someone being robbed, there's some jokes being played out, there's people shooting each other, and mainly everyone, when I was watching, I was just waiting to see Hit Girl slice up everyone with some sort of like a katana or something. <laughs> it was really fun. The music was, the only drawback is not enough people want to go see this movie, so it might not get the sequel, and I really want the sequel to come out. I mean, I don't know what I could do help. I went to go see the movie in the theaters, I went, bought out the DVDs and the Blu-rays, and I really hope this gets the sequel it deserves, because this is a great movie. It kicked ass, and if you haven't seen it yet, then shame on you. You go watch it right now, go out and buy it, buy 15 copies for you and 15 of your friends, and you need 16 copies, but that's, that's beside the point. You have to go watch this movie right now.